Hey everyone, Rhea Gorviews here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means time for my Survivor recap. So, missed the first couple minutes because I was at the gym, I was doing what I call Survivor training. And I missed the first few minutes of the immunity challenge, and I'll explain why when I get to that point. But, basically, they're dealing with the vote out from last week. And Cassidy basically has no trust in Carla anymore, and she won a... She has no trust, but then she also wants to go to the source and, you know, have a, you know, one-to-one -one conversation. She actually goes to Carla and says, hey, did you put my name down? Did you, like, say my name? And Carla um, actually uh, plays the waterworks up a bit and says, no, no, I wasn't, I didn't put your name down. And I am so hurt that you would accuse me of that. And she, Carla even said it herself, like, this is like a, she's going to make it look like a telenovela. And I'm like, gotta give her credit. I mean... Carla's got some serious acting skills. But then everybody else then tells Cassidy, um, Carla did, uh, in fact, say your name. So now Carla's on the chopping block tonight. So the reward challenge, they get to win some pastries and coffee. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, the reward challenge, you're going to give a bunch of sugar. But then I'm thinking to myself, might actually be good for the next challenge. And I would love some iced coffee out there. And you're a contestant out there and all you've had was some rice and coconuts for 26 days I would imagine pastries would look and iced coffee look pretty good so the reward challenge actually I don't think we've seen it since Samoa it's when you have one person in the ball and you have to maneuver them through an obstacle course and then once you get to a certain point um the other two people that were moving the ball around they have to um do this maze and they're blindfolded by the way so it was um, Owen, Cody, and Carla on one team, and then it was Gabler, Jesse, and Cassidy on the other team. And the blue team, which was Cody, Carla, and Owen, they were fantastic the whole way through. It, they basically zipped through it. They had a little trouble at the end, and it looked like it was going to be really close. Like Red got there eventually and it looked like it was neck and neck but blue first could not get that in the hole and they got then they eventually got the ball in the hole so blue ended up going on reward and they basically are trying to feel each other out and see like okay we're at this point in the game who can I go with but to the end but then also who can I beat and Carla tells them hey I don't have an idol and is trying to act it up a bit and say to, and Cody's like, seems like he's falling for it and saying to her like, that is just awful that you've had that target on your back this whole time. That is just, uh, that is just horrible, Carla. So yeah, I'm like, oh my God, Carla could actually win an Academy Award for her acting skills. And Cassidy, in fact, tells everybody at camp that Carla does in fact have an idol. And that is exactly why you do not tell anybody. I do not care how close you are to somebody that is exactly why you do not tell somebody I have an idol because eventually you could be cl as close as can be th to your alliance member but eventually they will use it against you and they will tell you tell somebody that you have an idol so now everybody knows Carla has an idol and then she comes clean and says yes I do in fact have an idol so now Carla's in this position where Obviously, her name's being thrown out there, but she does, in fact, have an idol. But just because she has an idol doesn't mean she'll play it. So you get to the immunity challenge and miss the first couple minutes of it because my mom currently is at a di at dinner and she messaged me while I'm at the gym saying, like, oh, my God, Wendell and Bryce are here from Survivor. And I'm like, oh, my God, Mom, that is amazing. So the immunity challenge comes on and she's saying for me to FaceTime her. And I'm thinking, mm, something's going on. Um, I actually got to FaceTime Wendell, the winner of Survivor Ghost Island. So thank you, Mommy. Um, Wendell, a uh, shout out to you. Hope you had fun talking with my mom. You are awesome. Hope I get to see you again at um, Hearts of Reality at some point. But um, yeah, that was amazing. My mom got a buff signed. So my mom just won Mother of the Year. So... Uh, to get back to the immunity challenge. Um, the immunity challenge, it basically looked like they had to go through some obstacles and then they had to build um, this, 
they had to solve, um, they had to go through an obstacle, go down, and they had to solve this combination lock. And then they, once they solve that, they have to go up and then they have to solve this bat puzzle. And I got to give the puzzle department credit. I mean, they deserve big raises because it's a bat puzzle. Like, I don't think we've seen a bat puzzle before, but that is amazing. Like, in our minds, like, it might look easy, but holy mother of God, like, that looked so difficult. And Carla was so behind in the challenge, like, she's had hand problems this whole time because she got injured in the challenge. And she struggled getting up there, and it looked like it was coming down between Cassidy and Cody. And Cassidy finished first, but she was wrong, so then that opened the door for Cody and Carla. Because Carla ended up um, getting in on the challenge, and her body just gave out, and she couldn't do it. I seriously thought Carla was going to win. And ended up being Cassidy that won immunity by a few seconds over Cody. So congrats on my girl Cassidy for winning immunity. And I feel bad for Carl. I mean, I feel bad. At this point in the game, like, you're mentally exhausted. You're physically exhausted. And it takes a toll on you. And her body's just giving out. Like, there's no question, like, that she was capable of doing it. But when you get to that point and you have very little resources in the game, your body just gives out. So, I mean, I still have to give her credit. I mean, she didn't give up. Nobody give, gave up. I, I mean, I have to give this whole season credit. These people are amazing strategists. Like, when they get back to camp, like, it's constant strategizing. Like, the obvious move, I mean, the easy move for them would be to get Carla out because originally they were going to split the votes between Cassidy and Carla. Cassidy won immunity so now the easy vote would be to get Carla out. Cody then approaches Carla and says hey we both obviously have idols so why don't we tell people hey we have idols and we're going to play them tonight but in fact they're not going to play them tonight basically using it as a scare tactic you know what I mean and Cody I'm I'm gonna say it my first impressions about him were wrong. I, Cody grew on me. I like him. He is an evil genius and I love it. So, but there's a plan behind that. Because Cody wants Carla to think she's safe. So, in fact, she doesn't play her idol. So Cody then tells everybody to vote for Carla. Jesse, who's been Cody's right-hand man the whole time, says that their stories are a lot alike in the sense that their gameplays are very similar and he's afraid to go up against Cody because it may not be a matter of if he can beat him or not because pers personally from a viewer standpoint I think Cody and Jesse's gameplays are evenly matched like if they're in the final three it could easily be a, a super close vote it, it might even be a Wendell and, D and Dominic situation where it's a tie because both of them are very well deserving of winning. The only thing, I think Jesse may have the um, sympathy vote so just and the um, more inspiring story. So I think just, I, just for that, I think Jesse might win over Cody, but I don't know. I think it'd be a close vote, but anyway. So Jesse sees that and he doesn't want to be known as like Cody's sidekick. So then he comes up with the idea like, hey, we should get Cody out and everybody's on board. The only thing... And then he, Jesse also says, like, he wants to, um, because he, because keep in mind, he also has Cody's idol, and he also has Janine's idol, so Jesse has two idols on him, but Cody asked for his idol back because Carla wanted to see his idol, which is very smart, because people can say, hey, I have an idol, but you don't actually know for sure if they have an idol. So Jesse's plan is kind of, um, foiled a bit, like, he might have to come up with a backup plan before a tribal council. So you get the tribal council, and the jury was there before everybody else, which is a bit weird. And they're talking about the challenge and how Cassidy won, and how Carla's body basically gave out. And she even said herself, like, they ran out of rice. Like, it's that point in the game where they're, like, living on coconuts and the heat is getting to them. Like, they're exhausted. And they're talking about, like, it's, this is, like, game point, like, the lines are drawn and the idols are coming out. Like, like this is the time where it's time to make big moves and not have a case of overconfidence, you know? Because once people think they're like, oh, I'm totally safe, that's when they get blindsided. And I'm thinking, oh my God, are these, what idols are going to come out? And Jesse stands up out of all people. I'm thinking, 
oh my god like what what's happening I, I thought that he was gonna play Cody's idol for him turns out he plays an idol for Owen I'm like oh snap and then Carla then gets spooked and plays her idol which I think is smart because you know they're gunning for Carla and then I'm thinking wait a minute why doesn't Cody play his idol because Jesse gave Cody his idol back so I'm thinking why doesn't he I'm like come on Cody and then as soon as Jeff said okay I'll read the votes I'm like oh Cody's going home and Cody did go home and you know he wasn't bitter about it like he handled it very well like he was of course shocked anybody would have the same reaction but you know everybody got up and hugged Cody and Cody Jesse you know offered to shake his hand and everything and he accepted it and you know I think they understand that you know we're in this alliance but at the same time like it's a game I understand the move it'll be a very fun final tribal council if Jesse makes it to the final three so yeah um like I said my first impressions of Cody were definitely off I like Cody I, I definitely think he had a really good shot of winning I think Jesse made the right move for his game and Jesse dethroned the king and now Jesse is the new king so long live King Jesse um Jesse definitely has one of the best shots of winning this game if he makes it to final three and yeah it's it's one of those things where it's like you're at that point in the game like of course Cody and Jesse were a great duo no question but as I watched um Rob Sesternino and Adam Klein I watched a clip of theirs and Adam pointed out that the way he played his game won't work in today's um su survivor game and long story short he it was basically like you you're better off playing a game by yourself because then you're not seen as a threat whereas if you're seen as in a duo like Cassidy and Carla were then you know oh we got to break them up we got to break them up we got to get them out but if you're by yourself like Gabler Gabler's a, th a threat but people don't see that because he's not he's like a free agent so there's definitely something to what Adam was saying I do think that you do need an alliance for at least a pre-merge but then once you get to the merge I feel like it's it's your own game then at that point because you do need an alliance to get you to a certain point but then there's a certain point where you got to cut your ties because you you it's also good jury management because if you have your alliance members at the end you're not guaranteed votes now for conversation's sake if jesse makes it to the final three he's got a guaranteed vote from cody but then again we might think that but that just because they're an alliance that doesn't mean cody would vote for jesse but you know, you want to guarantee, like, if you're that close in your alliance and you can accept, like, hey, this person voted me out, but hey, it's a game, but I'm going to vote for him because we were so close. We built those bonds and relationships, you know. So, yeah, it um, looks like um, Jeff said they're going to a new beach. So I'm like, oh, this is new. So it looks like all bets are off next week. Basically, all hell's going to break loose. It's a season finale. So, you know, at this point, anything can happen. Like, I am so impressed with this cast this season. Like, there's so many great players and great strategists. I mean, if they come up with a second chance 2.0, like, there's going to be a lot of people from this season on there. And Cody's definitely going to be a contender if um, second chance 2.0 is on there. If there's another second chance season. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed tonight's Survivor, and I hope you guys tune in for the season finale next week. I will be in Disney, so unfortunately, um, I will try to see the season, I will try to see the season finale, but I think I might be in Epcot at the time, so I might have to just, um, tune in the live tweets, but I might find some time to sneak away and watch the season finale. Um, I cannot wait to see what happens. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the season. Hope you guys enjoyed my Survivor recap. If you guys want to check out Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Or you could live stream it on Paramount+. Plus. Until next time, stay regal.